This monadic psalmody, it, it's also in the book, it's, it's really a method of study. And it's really helpful because if you say it on one note, you will notice any imperfection. Any imperfection in the legato or in the rhythm will immediately stand out. Mi parea, min di cori carmi. I call it, uh, uh, especially here, psalmody because this is pure Gregorian, both because it's a prayer and because in this recit, as you see, you have a tenor, you have a fixed note, you are repeating, so you are entering in the atmosphere of the prayer. So just respect, in fact, what is a real monody. Mi parea min di cori carmi e da tenderlo. Double D open. This is, what was her name again? Era il suo nome, Barbara. That's what the pause is about. In your thoughts, because that's where you're going to pray, not to force the sound in any possible local, spatial, physical position. Ne cantava una canzone, la canzone del salice. Pure Gregorian, okay? Very colloquial, very inner. Do not send the sound, just uh, think out loud. You are not fully there. You know what's going to happen. And even if you don't know, you know. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you are not completely there. And when the, when the Ave Maria will come up, you will be in and out of the prayer, you know. Uh, the la you, you, there will be bites of the prayer because you, you know, you're waiting for your time to come, for your last hour. <laughs> To come and you know what's gonna happen so even here you're not really talking to Emilia you're kind of talking to yourself you're you're kind of recalling memories you're kind of kind of kind of kind of you're not fully there it's not a dialogue with Emilia it's you giving her orders but then getting lost in your thoughts again and in the, in the anguish you feel of the premonition of what's going to happen from the very beginning mi giunse di coricarmi e d'attenderlo Mm. So be more absent. This is the word I was looking for. Be more mm. absent. She's very absent in this scene. So don't be too willing in singing, in making the notes. Oh, but the whole Salce scene is almost uh, a little here and a little there. It, it, it's, it's very um, yeah, out of yourself somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ademilia mi disciogli le chiome. If he specifies that Ademilia, it means that right till that time you were not really talking to Emilia. You were kind of talking to yourself. Because when you are speaking to Emilia and you are giving a precise order to Emilia, he, he mentions that. So more directly to Emilia, parlante spoken. What was this song again? Cantava una canzone. Oh, yeah. Mi dice che io me. Io questa sera la memoria piena. When you say io questa sera, that marcate, okay? The meaning you have to give to that marcate is. I have no idea, I cannot get that song out of my mind tonight. Io questa sera, io questa sera, ho la memoria piena. That marcate, that staccato, where he says marcate, make it out of, uh, you know, because you're speaking to her. Now you're speaking to her. Mi disciogli le chiome, io questa sera. I don't know why I cannot get so io questa sera ho la memoria piena di questa cantilena. La memoria piena, la memoria in Italian is also the storage of the of your of any device, you know? And 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 your and and, and the Snemona is acting like a device will will act when the, the storage is full. That they're not really responding. And then all of a sudden you will speak to her and tell her to do something specific, but but then you will just be in your in your thoughts. But that's the meaning of the marcate. Far away. Far, far, far away. You're back in your mind again. There is this far. Like when uh, 
in movies uh, there is uh, there is an enchantment going on and there is a, a magic sound that starts somehow a hypnosis or a, a regression a mental regression okay Verdi gives you this uh, Super high F, super low F. Like when in movies, some with a magic wand, someone will go ting, and you regress. It's like a magic uh, gong that starts a regression. So again, sing as if you are not present, as if you're not there anymore. Magic. core interval that you cannot that you cannot get out of your mind you go b b b d and now it's the opposite d b d b io questa sera salce salce okay this is the interval io questa sera salce 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 is the same interval reversed when you mention io questa sera you are already singing the interval of the salce the minor third of the salce reversed io questa sera salce 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 and in order to mimic the triple p of the voce lontana do not withhold the sound really let it come back from a remote abscess of your mind. And again, magic. Second uh, regression. Emilia, affrettati, tra poco giunge Otello. Which means again that all the scene from the after is to herself. Because when she's back to the present time and speaking to Emilia, he specifies again that she's back at Emilia. Okay? So, which means that everything else was absent minded to herself. Affrettati, fra poco giungo tello. Is doubled. It's a, that's why I'm talking about a regression. It's, it's a really weird phenomenon that is happening to her. This whole story of Barbara, we don't even know if it's true, if it's false, if she's saying it only to give a hint to Emilia, I'm about to be killed, I know he's going to kill me. It's, it's, really, it's weird what is happening in this scene. It's not just her telling the story of her, uh, the, the Ancella of her mother. Yes and no. Dramaturgically speaking, it may be a way to ask for help. Don't leave me alone. Emilia D. I, we, we, we don't really know to why she is telling this scene. It's some sort of, at the same time, regression and the premonition of what is going to happen. E gli occhi suoi piangean tanto, tanto da impietosir le rupi. Tanto, comma, tanto marcato. E gli occhi suoi piangean tanto, tanto. As if you had seen her, as if you really remembered, as if it was happening. That's why I'm talking about regression. Again, Emilia, again, parlando. Riponi questo anello. Open. Riponi questo anello. Okay. E of the Ave Maria, eh? Noem 
Once I ever. No, and go from vowel to vowel. Eliara, open. Eliara. No I, no final I of alien. Elia, no. Elia. It's so real, the regression, that now you can almost, you can almost hear Barbara. Lemon. You have, you, I mean, you have entered this sort of uh, trance so deeply, uh -huh. you, you got in touch with Barbara. Maybe because Barbara is dead as well and you're almost dead. I don't know. I don't know. But you get so much into the, into the tale, into the telling of the story of Barbara that at some point you can hear her. Salte, 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 salte. Ascolta, ad un lamento tace, che batte quella porta. E il vento. Okay, it's the wind. Okay. Come mar, donna double M, le ciglia, è presagio, double P, è presagio, presagio. Sì, è presagio, come Mardon le cia, gli occhi suoi piangeano tanto, 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 tanto. This is why Barbara is visiting her tonight. Emilio de come Mardon le cia, è presagio di pianto, buonanotte. Double M because after Ave, is, there's a comma, Ave, Hail, comma, Mary, Ave Maria, piena di grazia. So every time we, we say it, there's a double M. Ave Maria, piena, open di grazia, eletta, open, fralle, double spose, open, elle, double vergini, sai, open, tu. So you begin with the, with the actual prayer, with the Ave Maria, and then you will make a, a, a huge... Uh, you know, detour from the actual uh, prayer. Okay, so this is the Ave Maria, is the actual original prayer, so he gives you a Gregorian tenor. Ave Maria, piena di gra. And then you space out again and go again back to some other place, the place of Barbara, the place of your future, whatever, and you go into an actual uh, uh, melody. And throughout the whole scene, there is this uh, parlato, Gregorian, when you're speaking to Emilia or when you're praying, so when you're speaking to the Virgin here, to when you are spacing out and in the realm of, I don't know. Yeah. So, just... so the prayer must be very colloquial, sottovoce, like when you speak to uh, mm -hmm. Emilia. Let's go for Sia Benedetto il Frutto. Sia Benedetto il Frutto. Like a rosary. Oh Benedetta, double B. Sia Benedetto il Frutto. Oh Benedetta. You're, you're more and more spacing out. It's really free in the tempo because you're getting lost so mm -hmm. much that in the middle of the prayer you will stop and before going to Santa Maria, you will never get to Santa Maria. You mm -hmm. will re-elaborate the prayer in between. Okay. Di tu, de, del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, no, that, that's what it would be. But you, 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 you don't get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and, and you start spacing out because you start slowing down. Eletta fra le spose, bla bla bla. Eletta fra le spose, le vergini sei tu, sia benedetto il frutto, benedetto. Like Barb, what was his name again? Barbara. And then you're back in the tempo because you're somehow more convinced. The Ave Maria was kind of formal, okay? So you, you get into a personal prayer to the Virgin. Palata tomorrow and we're singing about the Ave Maria. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's perfectly timely.